Hi, Dr. Mancini here, and I want to address a question. It's a common question that occurs, and I've heard it for years, and I just recently heard it again, and I felt like this is a good opportunity to uh, share with you my perspective. A uh, patient asked me, uh, basically said to me, I can't lose weight. I said, well, why can't you lose weight? And she said, well, I don't know. I said, all right, well, what if I was a fly on the wall, and I watched your life? What would I see? She said, well, I would probably, uh, you'd probably see I eat too much and I eat the wrong foods. I said, well, why do you eat the wrong foods and why do you eat too much? She said, well, I don't know. I said, well, here's what you need to do. You need to figure out why you do that. And the way you need to do that is the moment you start feeling that urge to eat, you need to stop right there, just stop and make a decision. You will not eat the food. You will feel what you're feeling because often what happens and it happens with digital devices and food most often is we have an emotion that comes up, a feeling. It could be anxiety, boredom, frustration, um, whatever it is, but it doesn't feel good and we wanna run to something that can get us to feel good, to distract ourselves. So what I asked her to do is the moment she starts having that urge, and that urge can not only be thinking about the food, but her body will physiologically start to crave. In that moment, stop and feel the sensation. Now, once you feel that sensation, you start to get a sense of what your body is trying to express because these sensations in your body are raw feelings until you add a label to it. And often, and unfortunately, what happens is we add a label and off to the races. We run and create a story about why you feel what you feel. And we don't want to go there. So what happens? We eat the food. We go to the digital device. We check our Facebook, Twitter, and all those other things people do. So the thing you need to do, and I told her this, I said, the moment you start to feel that urge, stop and start to check in with what you're feeling in your body. Start to feel the feeling, feel the sensation. Don't add a label, don't ask questions, just stay with the feeling and you will notice. And I said, if you stay with the feeling, you will notice as you breathe into that feeling, that sensation, you will start to notice it dissolve. And I said, if you do that consistently, It'll rise, it'll peak, and it'll clear. But you have to hold and stay with the feeling. And I told her, it's not gonna be comfortable. It's gonna be like going to the gym. You're gonna feel resistance. But like going into the gym, you don't go into the gym, lift weights, feel the resistance, and run out. You don't do that. You stay with it because you know that the resistance will do what? It'll make you grow. That's the whole point of doing this. So I told her, Think about doing this process the same as if you're going to the gym to exercise. You're gonna feel resistance. Stay with the resistance. Know that pushing into the resistance, staying with the feeling, the sensation, you will begin to become stronger because that sensation will begin to dissolve. That weight in the gym becomes easier, but you have to stay with it. Resistance is a key factor that you're gonna feel because the body does not wanna go there. It wants to distract itself. So. Take home. When you feel like you're gonna eat something, I told her, stay with it, feel the feeling, experience the sensation, stay with the feeling, make sure you're breathing, don't hold your breath, your body's gonna think it's gonna die, breathe, and over a period of time, as you stay with your breath and stay with the sensation, the raw sensation, don't label it, you will notice it dissolve. It'll rise, it'll peak, and it'll clear. So. That's my recommendation for those folks out there that say, I just can't stop eating. I don't know why I eat. Don't eat. Feel the feeling. Experience the sensation. And you'll notice it begin to dissolve. If you have any questions, uh, don't hesitate to uh, email me or tell me your successes.